Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a cool fast forward effect in Camtasia. Alright, so this effect is going to be cool if you're particularly going to be designing something on the screen or, or a video that you're fast forwarding that has movement and you're kind of showing like a before and after type thing. So here's the example that I have here that I just did. And Marit did this video where she shows how she designs flyers and graphics in a PowerPoint. And I basically fast forwarded the whole thing from beginning to end. So here, I'll just play the clip here to show you guys uh, what this kind of effect is. So you can see that she's designing a PDF flyer for one of our clients and it literally went from like scratch nothing and now it's like being designed. So this whole actual clip is quite long and I had to speed it up quite a bit to get this effect going. So I'll just pause it there and you guys can understand that you know, at the end, it's going to, maybe I'll just fast forward it right now and I'll kind of look at the end. So I'll just move it forward here. All right, so that was the end there, kind of showing the end product. Now this worked really well because she's doing like a design thing. If you wanted to do like an art thing or building something, just anything that shows like a, okay, you started from nothing and then at the end it's going to look cool. This is going to be a good effect. So to make this whole thing, um, you obviously need the actual video clip here. And I'll just show you guys this actual video clip was quite long so i did a fast forwarding on this five times the speed so i i made it five times faster than it normally is and then i added other features like some cool music and then this fast forward icon that you see here that has a flashing effect and then some text here, the FF, which is stands for fast forward. And, you know, you're kind of like doing the old school rewind, fast forward, stop, play, like that kind of a thing when it used to show up on the videos. Now, I do get this question quite often and people are saying, okay, cool, we can do a fast forward. Can we do a rewind? And unfortunately, they offer to do a fast forward in Camtasia but they don't allow you to do a rewind, which kind of sucks because it would be cool, you know, to have that effect maybe in the future in, in later updates of the software, they'll have this, but right now we can only do a fast forward and that's okay. We can still get a cool effect out of it. So I'll show you, I'll just break down uh, the variations here of what's needed. So you need your video clip. And like I said, that this clip was actually really quite long. So I brought it down to three minutes, but I believe it was over 15 minutes in the original. And when I did five times the speed, then it brought it down to three. And so how you add speed onto it, how you make a fast forward effect is, first of all, I need to have this clip open. I grouped it, um, but you would just have it just like this and you would right click and you're going to see something here. It's going to, instead of remove clip speed, it's going to say add clip speed. 
So I'll just remove it just for the purposes here. So I've removed it. And then you, if I right click, it's going to say add clip speed. But I'm just going to undo that. And then it's going to go back to its original form. So make sure you click on your clip that you want to fast forward, right click, and then go to add clip speed. Mine says remove because it already has it. And then you're going to want to play around with the speed. So you want to make it fast enough so that you can really see some change and fast movement happening. Because if I only did it, you know, two times speed, it wouldn't, it wouldn't really be so dramatic. Like it wouldn't be cool to watch. So that's why I went all the way to five. Now I could even go to six or seven, but I just decided to leave it at five. So then after I did that, I got some free copyright free music. So I added the song here. I thought this song sounded really cool. It's from the YouTube channel Argo Fox and it's A-R-G-O-F-O-X and they are a YouTube channel that makes copy free copyright free music for other YouTubers and people to use in their projects and then you just need to give them credit in the description of your YouTube video if you're using their song and then it's totally free to use. So adding some music really helped to make the vibe, the fast forward vibe. And then there's this right here, which is the fast forward icon. And I got that from a website called flaticon.com. It's this website right here. And you basically go to search fast forward. And they have tons of icons. And I think I just chose this one. I downloaded it and then I uploaded it into my media bin in Camtasia. So that's how I got that. And then the fast, the FF here, that's just text that I dragged from the annotations. I just either grab this one or the, this ABC, drag it down, do two capital Fs, left the color black. And then another thing I forgot was on the fast forward. I actually added a behavior. So the behavior is going to make it flash. So I'll just play a little bit of here and you'll see that the fast forward is flashing. And I wanted it to flash to, you know, signify that yes, I indeed pressed the quote unquote fast forward button. It's just a, you know, like a little effect here, a little detail. Sometimes these small details, you know, really make the video. They give it the feel. So I added a behavior onto it and I grabbed the behavior from here. And the one that I added was called fade. So that's this one right here. I literally just dragged it onto here, just like that. And then here, from here, I changed the settings in the during portion. So in the during portion, I s um, sped up the loop time by making it go to one second. It's 1.02, but that's okay. And initially it was two seconds. And then I brought the op opacity down. So it makes this um, flash, like sh to show that it's flashing a lot clear like the flash will be more prominent because it's going more clear and then in the during I still have the fading opacities at 40% loop time which is how fast it goes from the opacity 40% to 100% is one second and that creates a flashing effect now you can make it go faster if you want it but I left it like that now this is all that I did to do these features here on this fast forward effect. You could even add more, like you can add a fast forward effect sound along with the music. If you wanted to go for more of an effect, you can also add sort of that uh, scratchy f uh, film effect, kind of like a grain effect that would go on top of the video. You could also get a green screen of that, place it on top of here, and also have that scratchy effect. In this case, I didn't want that effect because I wasn't g going for that. Like this isn't meant to have like a vintage uh, 
feel per se, but I did want it to have a fast forward feel. So that is how I created this fast forward effect. Like I said, if you do anything like drawing, painting, creating like jewelry, art, like setting something up, building, whatever, designing, this is a neat way to feature your artwork or whatever you're doing in the video. All right guys, so that was it for this video. If I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you guys are interested in checking out the Camtasia software, you can also head down to the description below. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.